Hello, I'm Adam, this is my vlog. Well, this week, I uh, got to see some fish inside a place. I don't know if this camera can pick it up. But if you can see it, there are fish. Lots of them in the water. Big ones. And I attempted to build a Stirling engine, but I haven't actually gotten all the pieces together yet. Um, one of the things I am missing is either a piston or a diaphragm in which to expand and contract air so the air can be moved. Uh, I found everything else. Um, I figure I'm going to do a basic one to start. I um, got these cans I picked up from somewhere and just tear them apart and, you know, they'll be recycled anyway so they're not lost to the people who I borrowed them from. Um, but for the starter, you got the can, you, know, you have your first chamber, and that's really my biggest problem with my, um, my low temperature Stirling engine. A low temperature Stirling engine um, usually has a bigger surface area, so more temperature can be changed inside the chamber. The metal pro problem is, this is uh, plastic, and the plastic will most likely melt because of the temperature difference, though so this might work, I'm not sure. I just need to get uh, another part for this, which after I get another can open, I should be able to put that together. After that, I've just got to figure out what type of diaphragm to put inside here. Usually, most people use something like a, a thick piece of wool or cotton, uh, you know, like a brown blanket thing, but I don't have any wool. Um, another thing I s could use is paper, because I hear paper works pretty well. Uh, people use steel wool for the ones inside these cans. Of course, this isn't a low, uh, low temperature one. Uh, this is low temperature wider base, so more temperature can change quickly. Um, aside from that, uh, the wire I'm going to be using is coat hanger wire, as I put in the previous video. Um, I got to clean my room, which is great. Um, aside from that, I've been somewhat bored because I haven't been able to do anything. Uh, so, um, I decided to look for a different job than what I currently have. I like the job I have, I just don't like some of the people I work with sometimes. Even though their intentions are good, I'm just upset with it because it affects my ability to work. Um, and that's really all I got for today. Bye.